Hello, welcome back to Jim's Car Review. I'm Jimmy Curfee, if you don't know me already. You see, I do this this YouTube channel called Jim's Car Review, where I review cars. Today I got this, the only BMW X1. And I'm going to be taking it all out on the road, show you what it's like to drive. Um, I'm going to tell you from inside, actually driving the car on the roads, yes. That thing called roads, and I'm taking that for it for a drive. Show you around, and I'm going to talk you through some of the features that I li like and some that. I don't, maybe not like, or just my, or what I think them. I'm going to be taking you round the car and tell us about the side profiles and take, talk about the lights. And I'm also going to be showing you some of the infotainment systems inside, which I've got all my stuff, so like charging and where my phone mount is, that I'm going to mount you on so you can see me when I'm driving. Share my opinions when I'm on the road. And of course, just enjoy driving. If you haven't already, hit like. That thing called thumbs up, the thumbs up button. Don't press this one. It's not fun. If you don't like my com if you don't like my content, don't watch it. If you like my com content, carry on watching and please like, please like the video. Also, if you're a car lover like me, please, please, please subscribe and also share with your mates so that you can so so I a I get more watch time. B, so I get to drive awesome cars like this. Well, no, A, so I get to drive more awesome cars like this. Uh, and C, if you do have any ideas of other cars you want to see, please let me know down in the comments section below. And please, no spam. I do, you see, I deal with enough spam. I don't want, I don't want you. So please also keep it polite. But if you do honestly have criticism, criticism or feedback, or you just want to suggest, or you just want to suggest something to me, please let me know down in the comments section below. Firstly, let's talk about the side profile of this car. What do I mean by side profile? Well, in the most simplest terms, the side of the car. Not the the inside, it's an interior. Outside which I'm standing is the exterior, and this is towards the side profile. Now the side profile is actually quite quite what well, like any of our BMW X1 you've seen where it the previous ones it's a nice small sporty sununi SUV it's just a nice I know it's just a nice curvy body and got plenty of room on the inside for when you want to get in and out as I shall now X demonstrate now let's talk about the back of the car this bit not the bonnet or the boot this bit now, I actually quite like the look. I love, love, love the smoked tail lights. And does this remind you of another car? I don't know. It's got kind of like M135. That's no sort of car feel to it. Sporty. Nice little spoiler. I mean, it's not going to do much at 60 kilometers an hour, which will be hitting on Beach Road or just on the roads outside of here. So, yes. And if you, if you want to see the iX1, that's a hint for, that might be coming to the channel. Um, so this is the one eight, so you've got two versions on this BMW X1. You've got the X1 118i S drive and the X1, obviously this is an X1, so if you don't know what a BMW X1 is, I suggest, I su what I can basically do is say is it's the smallest SUV that of the X series that BMW doing, and if you don't know what the X series is, it's either, it's pretty much the SUV range. Like you got the Toyota Rav4, Kluger, Land Cruiser, which I'm not going to go into detail about. You've got for Mercedes the GLEs, the GLCs, the GLAs, G series. I, I, I like nickname them. For Volvo, you got the X, the XC. You get the idea. It's just their SUV badging, I guess you could say. Absolutely stacks of it. Got a nice sunroof here, which I'll talk about later. And you've got where do you ask? And you've got one seat here, a, a second seat here. I mean, there's a bit of a bump as you'd expect. If you know, there are two isofix points here, which I'm not going to pull, but that's where you put your baby seat or or your child seat. You got two seat belts here, which is for when you've got your 2.1 when you're in the middle so when you're in the side you got these these standard ones so if i put this in for you nice and easy and you've got and it's plenty and it's 
there's plenty, plenty of space in the back. Plenty of leg room. Absolutely blooming stacks of it. Uh, the most I've seen. Guessing there, probably. Nearly. Over here, you coming back over to the to this side. Obviously, there's quite a space age looking handle. I mean, look at it. Does this not look cool when you open it? Does it not look cool? I think it looks good. Anyway, step stepping out of the car, obviously, to, like you do, and I'll shut the door. It's quite a light space vehicle. I mean, there's lots of light coming in. Doesn't matter where you sit, whether you're at the front or whether you're at the back. There's plenty of space for everyone to sit. I mean, you could probably easily get one on, the, on, on each of the passengers, the proper divine, defined passengers. You could probably get two six foot, six foot people in quite easily. Now it's the time you've all been waiting for. Now we're going to hit the road. And we're going to go out of that away, I believe. And I'm going to tell you what it's like when we get out on the road. Alrighty, let's start the car. Oh yes, I thought maybe, do you want to listen to the start-up? Here, here's the sound. Park on, engine start. Do you hear how quiet that was? I don't know how BMW have managed that, but it made us such a nice quiet car. So it's gonna come up and we're gonna get on the road. Oh yeah, I might need to turn the air con. Okay. Oh yes, I'll show you this later on. Yeah, I can go, yes. I'm, I'm reviewing this car for a reason. Go away. No, fan, no, very low. Off. Thank you. Off. No. On. Oh, yes. Why not? We'll go to some. What was that? Is that skyline? I don't, I don't know whether it's a proper skyline or someone's just decided to make up, but we're going to follow it. Let's go. It's on glass and I've got glass for I'm doing. I am filming a YouTube video. And I'll link and I'll let them know what my YouTube channel's called. Oh yes, my channel called Jim Car would be by the way. Right, let's go. Um so I've just been Ready parked. Let's go. Okay. Into drive would be a good idea. Let's go! Apologising and don't like annoying TikToks ticking down. Careful around this dude. Oh, get out of the way, ducks. Ducky, out of the way. Out of the way, ducks. Out of the way, ducks. We're out. We're round. We're out in the out the way. We are gonna go out this way. Oh, huh, there's a Golf GTI. Maybe a future video. Add the e-tron. Okay, now we're gonna go this way actually. Change my mind, we're gonna go this way. We're gonna wait for him to go and we're gonna head off. I forgot Ford BMW, so sir, what are you doing? I am reviewing a BMW X, one of my peepers. Alrighty, now we're on the road. Okay, that's nicely done. Once I get to the open road, I'll talk to you more about what it's like to drive, obviously. I can't do that now until I'm concentrating that going. Oh. Hey, BMW can be fun up ahead. Yeah, so it's late in the evening. It is six o'clock here in Australia at the time of filming. On the 18th of November. It's a really nice quiet car, I must say. What can you hear me is probably me rambling on about how nice the car is to drive and how cool it is and all. How good. Oh, beamer. Oh, I've got a little beamer. Come on. Right, let's go right here. Radio. Oh, yes, I might see the roof. I was, uh, can I just say to Fire BMW, thank you so much for letting me come out and re review this car. Let 
Right, now talk to you more about the car. So what is it like to drive this um, 2022 BMW X1 then? No, it's X2 for a moment. Well, it's actually really quite easy. And this is coming from a P player, which is in Australia, when we pass our load of permit test, we have to get 120 hours of learner driving with an unsupervised drive driver supervisor and then want to pass our P plate test which we had to do a house perception test and a drive test where that we are now what's known as P plate and this car is what's known as P plate approved here in the state of Victoria Australia yes I'm an old, yes I'm an Australian YouTuber with an English accent anyway so there are rules and regulations about what cars you can and cannot drive here in Australia, right? Where, which way are we going? Let's go. We'll, we'll go left on here. I think we'll go left on here. We'll talk about it. Talk more about the road it, on the road. Up on bleach, bit of bleach, beach road. All right, do you have? I'm not gonna go after you. Have it. I just got buses here, so we need to be careful. Of those guys. I bet you we are going somewhere and get some very strange looks. It's like. It's been a little too long. Well, we can cut that bit out. I'll cut that bit out later. Oh yeah, so. Sorry about that little calamity. That bit too hesitant. Anyways. Well. Uh, what was it like to drive on a road? Well, it's really quite smooth, quite easy. So I haven't driven for ages. Well, I have driven. I have driven quite free, actually. I've, I drove quite recently, actually, so I've been out to get out some location to film. And I have to say, getting on my bad driving out of the way, well, it wasn't bad, it was just a few, a few little errors. Oh, so it's quite nice to be out, be out on the road. But I mean, it's a beautiful day. I'll go down and see what the beach road's like, go through the beach road for a bit, and I'll tell you what it's like down on that, on that road. Because A, it's obviously got to see. It's absolutely beautiful to film, and I would make a great testing ground. Well, I mean, I don't really have a testing ground, so I'm not big enough yet as a YouTuber. So I'm only, I'm only 39 sub. But yeah, it's a really nice, quiet car to drive. This is. It's absolutely beautiful, and because I'm, I'm inside the. job as a full-time youtuber we need to get I need to get uh, on two toots I made a bit of a boo boo last time my let's get on these ones Look at that, just listen to how quiet it is on the exit, it's so quiet, it's unbelievable. Oh, there's a Beamer, hey, go down for it, that's an X5. Now, if you could have any, oh, no. if you could, oh, I'm getting too slightly moving. If you could have any BMW in the world, what would it be? And where would you buy it from? Because I know where I'd buy my, my car from. It would probably be an M2. From Brighton BMW. Uh, I got this car. Will they like this car? I mean, such great people there. Such great people. Anyway, it's less about the people more than the car. So, what is it like on medium speed roads? I mean, it's. I mean, what are you doing? It's no harder to drive than, say, a Toyota Corolla or a Toyota Ram, which is so easy nowadays. With technology in these days, it's a lot easier to drive. What can we got done? Do you even think about trying to me? Because I will beat you off the lights. You're going to try and beat me, isn't it? Oh my god, I don't care if you beat me off the lights, but I know I can beat me if I really wanted to. Obviously, I, when I'm stationary, I talk about the infotainment system. Yeah, you go, mate. You're in a man's I'm in a beamer. I can smoke if I really wanted to. I'm not even talking. 
Look at me. I'm getting good pe people. Oh. Good people to be coming down our, our outside. Got it for outside. How cool is that? Might see my. There we are. There's the beamer. Obviously, I am going to need to get into the outside lane at some point. And it actually feels slower than we're actually doing. It feels like I'm doing about 40. But in reality, I'm doing 58 kilometers an hour on Beach Road, which for you guys who don't know the speed limit in here on Beach Road, or if you don't live in Australia and you don't know what Beach Road is, speed limit is 60. And it feels like I'm doing 20k under. It's such an easy, easy car to drive. I mean, look, it's, it's not an easy road to drive at, at the worst of times, because of traffic and that lot, but, oh, but saying that, it's very responsive, it's very soft. Oh, no, don't do that. It's very soft. I also like the the way BMW, the new BMW, and Waiting, waiting, waiting. Boom. Okay. Oh, look at that badass timing. I know where I need to come in, aren't I? Yeah, where I need to come out again. Oh, Joyce. Like I said, the beauties of driving on Beach Road, right? Just when you thought you've seen everything, there's always something that throws you off guard. That is Beach Road in a, nut in a nutshell. Well, I could... Right, let's go. Hopefully, no other no thing to decide to spin out of me. Actually, I think on, when, we, when we get going, it might be, I might try out the, the cruise control just to see what it's like. Because at the moment, I'm just... I guess you could say hand driving it. Like hand flying in a plane. I'm kind of driving it with my, with my right foot. We'll go around here. We'll go right, yeah. We'll go right. Got to indicate that would be nice. That would be a good idea for me to indicate one of that. Oh, I do think I can get that in here, I'm not good. Then I can edit this bit out. It's really nice. But yes! Oh yes, and if, if you're like me, you've been driving Japanese cars on their P plates, um, you you do tend to make mistakes. As in, you go for the, what you think is the indicator in a Japanese car, which is a Viper in a Euro car, which I just did then. And it's a mistake a few people make when they convert from Japan to Euro. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything, it's just what happens. And I bet you when I get back in my toy get back onto Japanese cars, I'll be like, oh dear, I've hit the wipers instead of the instead of the, the blinkers or the indicators or whatever you call it. blinkers if you're American indicators over here. Alright, what do we have up here? Rush hour by the looks of it. How oh, lovely. Love a job there. Eee. I must say, this is a great hot. I mean, the, it's an interesting hobby to have. Right, I'm gonna go. Right, you're gonna stay there. You're gonna go. Stay behind them, but on the intersection. God, it's sad. Kind wants to. Come on, go, go, mate, you can do it. Thank fuck for that. Oh, get up, perfect time. After the full series, let's go. Bye bye. Absolutely legendary coming by me once again. See if can spot him. Oh yes, here it is, 40. Would it recognise the 40 zone? I'm gonna hand drive it until I know it's 40 up here. Oh yes, it does that, doesn't it? it cuts it off, I forgot that. Oh yes, and in some in Euro some Euro cars, and it to say to try in an effort to try and save fuel, when you come to a standstill for a certain amount of time, they cut the engine off. And then when you obviously when you put when you back on the throttle, the power the power of the engine re-engages and then you just drive off like you usually would. But I know for some people that's really annoying. But I mean, at low speed I reckon it actually helps. And it's still 40 zone from here. Do 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 do. I mean, is this the ultimate P plate mobile? I say it's pretty close. To the ultimate P plate mobile. It's one thing, it so, so it feels like you're going slower than you're actually doing. Just watch your speed, just watch your speed. Oh yeah, so there's a heads-up display which is really useful. I can't get used to that, it does otherwise. 
that is this bloody six where's the sixty zone? Oh there it is, that's the sixty. Yes, I'm doing I'm doing about thirty six thirty seven in the forty zone, so I'm seeing a couple of K's on the limit. That will get sixty. Let's do it. Right, sixty there. And it's just back up. And I think press Let's try cruise control. Assistant driving, let's set. What's it like to drive at 60 km an hour? Now, obviously, now what's cruise control like? Cruise control, I mean, pretty good. I mean, it's so easy. I can sit here and cover my brakes in case. Obviously, I'm not going to take it off the hand, my hand off the wheels. That's, that's irresponsible, but if I think it hasn't noticed anything, I will brake, which. It's doing a good job at, at the moment, I must say. I mean, there's nothing ahead of it, so it's not really got much of a challenge. But, this coming up to a car, and I am going to take home because I am not very experienced in this car. I'm really, I'm, here we go. So it's really well as well. Oh, watch out, doggy. Watch out, watch out, there's a doggy about. And the infotainment system, which I'll go on to later, actually reminds me of the Tesla a bit. I mean, it's really cool. I mean, I know some people won't like the, the the space age screen thing, but I really like it, and I'll talk to you more about that later when we get home, or, the, or whenever I get back to my film. Actually, I'll take it back to the film location, and then I can talk to you about it there. Okay, so if you're if there's any fellow YouTubers out there who are like me who review cars, take note. By the night, I mean I watch Matt Watson from Carwell quite often. I used to watch Car Wow, which is a British one, by Matt Watson. Really good YouTube channel. Um, if you have any questions about how I got into doing YouTube and reviewing cars, uh, I don't know. I just, I just like, I like cars. I like filming. I like cameras. So I kind of brought the two together. Oh, hang on, MG. So you can see in the in your mirror. MG just gone by. Hey, I'm gonna focus. And there we go. I'm going to wait just roll forwards. Oh, there's a police car. Turn right. It says blank. And I'm going straight ahead, so. so I'm going to take you back to my driving. Back to my, what's the word? Back to my driving. Back, back to my, oh, don't do that. Okay, yes. Dead light, and I can talk more about. That, now, now that we're stopped at this red light, I'll take a let's talk, take a moment to talk price. Now, this car, as it is over here in Australia, in Sandy, Melbourne, Victoria, or well, I picked it up at Brown BMW. This car itself costs seventy about seventy thousand dollars new. And oh, nope. And there's some cars within the BMW that are people. What are you doing, mate? That are P plate approved and some that aren't P plate approved. Um, and, and in case you don't know what P plates are, they, these things which, I'm, which I put up, which I might have saw at the start of the video. And this is allowed for people who aren't as experienced as them to drive. So, but is it worth, is it, is it, is it, is it, is it worth just your 18 year old son, if you have, have one out there, drive your 70 grand Beamer? new BMW X1. I say it is, it's very easy. It's it's not a difficult car to drive at all. Absolutely not. Oh, that is it up there with one of my favourite SUVs? Yes. I actually really, really love the infotainment system. Oh, it's just it just want by down. It's, no, the dude in front of me I have to worry about, so I might stay silent for a couple of seconds just whilst I thought this dude out. I oh, know oh, it's I might want to get you into kids. Oh yes, you beat me off the lights. Well done. Well done, what you've proven. Oh well, you know, crappy old friend. Do I care? No. Am I driving in? Oh, oh, I think 40. No. No, it's not 40, it's a 60 then. You've just stopped. You're, you're just making a mistake. It's a 40 zone. Join school time, you dumb duck. Jimmy Curphy. Not the car's fault, your fault. Or they, oh, it's the car's fault, I don't know. Anyway, stop walking about, about who he lost it for it was. It's a 40 win. Look, technology is coming a long way. He's definitely going 
faster than 60. I'm doing 58, 59 up this hill, which you might not be able to see. Oh, there's the round four, that's why I drive on a day to day basis. I'm going to look. Brakes, good brakes. And then now we're boarding back. Now, now let's do some slow, slow roads. I'll talk to you about what it's like to go on some of the more narrow streets here in Australia, in Melbourne, where, where I live, where I reside, here in Sydney. I mean, that's doing really, it's doing a really good job, it is. A really good job down here. Right, we'll go down here, we'll, we'll see what it does. We'll really test it down here, we'll really test it. Probably gonna have to do it. Go with any other car. Oh, I've driven. Oh, talking of the M135i, there's one to my left. I'd love to get my hands on one of those. Brian BMW, if you want to hook me up for another BMW to review, please do. I would absolutely love to, I'd love to do another BMW. It's just so much fun to drive. And it, I know this, this car is really easy to drive, but it's also a hell of a lot of fun. We're going. Yeah, we're working. Haha, we up we go. I don't know, it's just something about driving this new X1 that you don't get from any other car. I don't know. Why do people park where I live? I don't know how I I don't know how I don't run out of things to say half time. You know what? Fair on here. What's it like on really narrow not on narrow roads for a pupita to drive or anyone to drive really? I mean Really, really, really easy. Oh, hello. Got a doggy. Oh, oh. oh that's it, three. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's a doggy. I'm oh, removing the dog for me, so I just thought I'd say thank you by putting my hand up like that. Oh, yes, yeah, so I might uh, actually use voice control at some point. Alright, where does this go? I mean, this, uh, people must be wondering, what is this dude doing driving around <laughs> the estate? Well, I'm reviewing a car, and I want to test it out. Oh, here we are. Oh, this is a really good, I'm at, so this is going to be my new standard road test for route. What I mean by that, oh, jeez. Oh, let's get out of here. Oh, what I mean by that is, oh, no, oh, no, we'll, go, we'll go right here. We'll go back, we'll go back to where we came from. We'll go right here. We'll go right here. We'll, we'll wait for it. So I, I don't know how what, much wider or narrow this car is. Like I said, well, it does like to be moving cars like this. It's like gotta be a bit more. Gotta be a bit more careful. So to never. I do love driving. I must say. Would I have one personally? Over and over and two. I put them both together. To be brutally honest, we're gonna go up here. We're gonna go. We're gonna go around here. We're gonna try to. We're gonna see what it's like to do with its three-point turn. Oh, you wanna go? Oh, yeah, slow, mate. Oh. Keep your hand in, buddy. Jeez. Oh yes. Australia and Australia and the same buddy, mate, friend. It all means the same thing. Means. All right. So let's get up here. and We'll test its three-point turn ability. And this, believe it or not, where, where I started filming this, is where I started to learn to drive. But he needs to learn, know that bit. What I need to know is what, it, what they need to know about the car. And it's a really, really nice car. And if any of you mates like drop my mates like driving or anything and you want to get involved, I would take you on any day. And I, would this be a good car to take your mates in for a drive? Just for a laugh? Yes. Oh, I've got B dubs. B B B W. Right. Right. Now I'm going to demonstrate a three-point turn. Right. So what's it like to three-point turn? Well, we're going to find out. We'll look behind. We'll go and look to the side. We're going to look everywhere to make sure, and we roll out. Roll out, boys. Caught the beauty. Oh, break, 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 break. Why do I get my? Why do I do these things to myself half time? That's really, okay, that's really cool. I've just noticed. I'll wait for it to go yellow. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. Right, we need to go look right. Okay, that is somewhat really awesome. If anyone, says, if anyone decides to beat me, 
Well, they just drop. Alright, let's go. So, 3.2, it's very easy to 3.2, in fact. Very, very easy to 3.2. Very, very, very easy indeed. Right, now let's take it back to, to where we started this review, which is literally just down here. Well, we'll see what it's like to park. Oh, oh, wait, what's he doing? I, I bet you are, people are wondering what the hell is this dude doing with his phone driving? Because he's not the age of doing this. This day is, I bet you I get funny looks, as in to say, what in the world is this P plate driver do doing? Still a bit late, that one. I mean, we've still got through safety. We're gonna get through safety. Yay! We're through boing, boing, boing. I do like this to amuse myself. And I think. What's it like to. Just. I don't know. To accelerate. What's I'm gonna. Oh, yes. And there's one thing we have forgot, which I think is very important for any car enthusiast. Well, I'd also. Maybe for you guys who want it, maybe for like family driving, or if you've got a, a learning driver or a pre plate driver, what's this the acceleration like to drive? Because I've been driving it pretty, pretty carefully. Don't know if it does it. We're gonna go around here and we're gonna have a look what it's like to do. Righty ho. You must think I'm an absolute crazy person if people, if people must. I'm gonna have fun. Do I have, no, you might be asking, do I have fun filming video? Yes, I do. Hey, it's the British Live. That's a new one. Just tease it. You're going left. Yes, you are. You're going. We're clear. Clear left, clear right, left, clear. Left again, clear right. Go off GTI. I know somebody who would like that. I'm going to go around here again. I want to show you something. No, I'm going to have to make sure there's no one around, isn't it? Obviously, we have to, we're remaining within the speed limit, but I think for anyone, this is an important. Well, for people like me, this is important anyway. For any old car enthusiast, you know, I'll show you. Right here, let's find a place where we can pull up safely. We're not going to launch or anything. We're just going to we're just going to line it up, and we're going to talk, and we're going to talk. Sorry, I'm sort of swinging around, and we're going to launch. Oh, I'm not going to talk long or anything, we're just going to... See what it's like, what would happen if you... Oh, it's fit, yeah, so it's 50 down here, I'll show you that. Oh, oh, I'll show you that as well. So I find it really, really cool. Okay, let's turn, let's turn this around. Because you have enough space to play to play with, or to work with, with whatever you want to say. Play with, to work with, it's just the same thing. I'm just going to indicate... Alright, so I'm going to indicate to do a free point turn. I'm gonna go here, so I'm gonna stop, click it in. Obviously, I'm gonna do a three point turn again, which I love to do. This is why I came down with my mate, my friend of a couple of months ago. We... I don't want to say that. I'm not, I'm, I, didn't, I didn't want you to say that. I, I know, I'm reversing. What do you think it, what does it look like I'm doing? Do you know what I've been saying? Speed adoption, which is the... Do you, do you hear that noise? That's a noise saying I'm close to something and not to be an idiot and ignore it. Which I don't. Because it's, it's, it's really helping. It lets me know that there's something close by and that I need to be aware of. There we go. Right. The one behind me and the speed limit is 50. So what's it like to accelerate from 0 to 50? 3, 2, 1. It's pretty rapid actually, pretty rapid. I'd say like about two and a half, three, three and a half, four seconds maybe. I don't have a timing system on me, but that's just a guess. A guesstimate I guess you could say. That's an estimate, but it's a guess at the same time. Right, now let's get this back in and I'll tell you more about the infotainment system when we get around here. Righty ho. Boom, we're gonna. And yes, I am gonna be a film television screen media student next year. It'll be good to have a few film. Do I have previous experience in like film and photography? Yes, I do. I do actually have um, previous experience in like cars, with cars and photog 
photography, video, photography, which I'm doing now, vlogging. Oh yes, and, if you, and hopefully if I do get filmed of you, would you like to see a filmed of you vlog? Me driving around what, and telling you what it's like to live with a BMW. Oh yes, and the X, the X1's coming soon, so would you like me to do a side-by-side -side review? And if you would, please let me know. Because I could get my, I could get the two cars side-by-side -side and do a review test. Why am I, well, am I terrible in rough foot parking? But with this car, I'm an absolute... Well, not once, but why am I a lot better in this car, in this car than my own car? That's that's concerning. Like, it's really concerning me as to why I'm such a good drop parker in this car than I am in the other one. It's maybe it's not nothing to do with the the amount of drive rates it's got or anything. Oh yes, and now that we're here, knocking to neutral, park. You can you hear that? That's unlocking to say that the car's in park. It's in holding and everything. And I'm gonna simply turn the engine off. I mean, plus I finished driving and I want to. Oh yes, and if I just hold it like that, look. Obviously, it's in it's in the park thing, or called the hold the or it's called hold, or it's called the park brake or hold brake. Hold brake is basically the park brake for when you're out on the road and, uh, or just when you want to auto hold or when you just want to hold it in place, like if you're going up the road, if you're like at a steep hill, you want to go up it. If we got stuck like, at traffic light. Which has never happened to me. It has. It's really annoying. Just but what I tend to do is just balance the throttle so it doesn't roll back or roll forwards. Or if it's going really down, I hold the brake so I don't roll forwards. Anyway, I'm not going to waffle long about that. It's about me and my. Oh yes, and the hazard hazard lights turn off. Didn't mean to press that. I meant to press the engine off button. So like, um, off. Right. So now let's talk infotainment system. Now obviously this is black and I'm going to take you through what the infotainment system is like. So I'm going to start in, I'm not actually going to start, so here's it booting up, which I find really cool. I, have, I, know, it's, I know it's only a small thing. Yes, I know it's ready to drive. I drove it just then. But yes, I find it's very, 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 what's the word? Satisfying and aesthetically pleasing. I know it's only little, but it's the sort of thing that I like. So, with me, with that out of the way, I'm going to talk you, talk you through this. So this is the movie, this is the guest profile. I'm not going to sign up. So this is basically your aircon. I mean, look, it's very minimalistic. It's very modern, so don't you don't have all the control that you do, like the iDrive wheel, the scroll wheel, which I do quite like, I have to say, from the. But I guess, does this look like? Let me see. Yeah, it looks. The all German cars show really cool looking, modern. Modern looking infotainment system. Yes. I'd, so let's have a look at the sat nav. So this is obviously the sat nav. And yeah, it's very, very responsive. I mean, it's, it's a new iDrive system, so why wouldn't it be? Oh, yes. And also, if we have a look, if we zoom in and have a look, you can see that the symbol is very diff is different to the iX3 I had. Oh, yes. So when, when, we, when we remember we were at the Brian BMW dealership before I could drive, I'm reviewing the iX3. I had, I had the, bl the blue arrow was looking different with like a little round circle on the back. Yeah, it looks like they got rid of that. What are my thoughts on that? Do I like it? Do I not? I mean, it's a lot nicer looking. It's a nice, clean looking infotainment system. It's blooming responsive. And if we're going to home, no. Don't want it stuck in instructions. No. Off. So, let's talk. Shall we talk menus? Let's talk, no, let's talk my BMW. Engine oils levels and in inactive, yes, yeah, so it's flat, flat tire. So yes, this it tells you that if you've got a flat tire or you, you need to check your oil or check whatever, or just check check stuff in general. I'm not going to, I don't need to check this because. And then going into here, into the media, we've got our radio that I can listen, that you can listen to. I don't listen to the radio because I'm not really a radio -y music kind of guy. But I might listen to the odd news if I was on a really long drive, which I'm not. I probably wouldn't. I'd probably still talk to you. I'd probably have a friend in the side. Telephones, I can telephone people, which I'm not going to do. A, so it'd be annoying. And B, I just don't want... I don't want to show you that. I want to show you. What I want to show you is this. These are all your apps you can get with BMW. So it does support Android Auto and Apple CarPlay if, 
and that's what you use to pause my mobile devices. I mean, it's my mouth. What does that do? Okay, so, oh, we've got that. So I've got sports, efficient, expressive. Don't forget to express yourself. That was a really bad push accent from the UK. Oh, yeah, see, I'm sure I'm also a well for nerd, if you don't know me. I'd love to know what the weather is. Oh, good job we didn't get out. To, we weren't driving tomorrow. Bourbon Victoria, here it is. Thunderstorms, that have been beautiful. Look at this. Be this would be been beautiful weather. I'd have absolutely loved it. Not. Not when I'm driving, I wouldn't fancy rain. I mean, I do love my rain, don't get. I do love thunderstorms. Oh, yes, it shows you weather warnings. Damaging winds, yeah, yeah, but like yada, 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 yada. That's not really car esque, but it's still cool to know that like, you can get weather warnings and critical info. Oh, yes, and I'm sure there's many of you out there. And it's not just me, but they're like ambient lighting and I like to change the colour a bit. Look, so nice. I know. Lavender, rose, rose, ocean. I mean, where's the blooming, where's BM, the, where's, where is it? Oh, turquoise. And look, can I show you it? Okay, watch, you ready? Background lighting. And you ready? If I change it, to drive, it changes. Am I... It's just, am I very easy to play? Yes, it's... For any BMW, you have to have a blue. So it's BMW. What? For this function, I need a connection to a Bluetooth device. You can connect your mobile phone in this menu. Please continue using manual control. What did I just witness? Anyways, as I was saying before the before the beamer, uh, what's the word? Chimed in on me and went, "Hey, hey, I would like to do this." Like I didn't ask for you. I didn't ask for that. Oh yes, I can see what the traffic conditions are. I mean, I don't need to worry about that. So I'm nowhere near that. But if I was obviously doing a long drive, I would. I think I'd preview our route. Oh, here it is. Remember, here it is. Do I like this? Do I like the? the Oh, where did you go? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah it's here. So, yeah, so I'll talk about by the circle. Got Volvo coming across, which I won't talk about, which I won't talk about then. Um, anyway, so this is the infotainment system. It's very, it's very intuitive. It's very easy to control. It's got everything at my fingertips. Do I like, do I like it? Yes, I do, actually. Automate habits. Owner's handbook. BMW assistance. No, live vehicle? Oh no, that's just so I know if something's wrong or something. Which I really hope it wouldn't be when I was driving. Oh yes, I mean, so drive recorder. Oh yes, that's my iPhone. And I'm not going to use it. But climate control, I can turn on the aircon and I do it all as I please. And I think that's about it for the infotainment system. Apart from if I put my foot on the floor, I do engage the engine, but I'm not driving anywhere. Obviously, you've got this little cool startup. Feature which I love, and then the aircon kicks on, which is absolutely lovely in this warm summer's day. And then look, this is your driver, driver, what they call it, entertainment. And then if you look ahead, you've got a nice, you got a nice heads up display, which is really, really useful. And here it goes. Then it lets you know it's off. And this is done. I'm guessing this is a demonstration car or person like for people like me. I'm going to test drive it until then. He's done 180 kilo an hour. Tells me how many k's it's done, how much petrol it's got. 566. That's bigger tank than the Ram. And it's currently 22 and a half degrees outside, which I find really cool. I know. And then it lets me know I'm in park. Moving down to the sides, we've got a door panel. I guess you could turn half classify this as the entertainment system and other controls. It's very easy to use, just like your windows, window locks, so you can't put the windows up and down, which is rather useful. Santa console, it's very special, it's, it's got enough space to hold all my stuff. I need to know. Oh yes, here's the mic my box for the, mic, for the microphone, which I don't really need to show you. And it's got plenty of space to have all the stuff I need it to do. So car keys, keys in general. 
Oh yes, yeah, and since my phone's running a bit low on juice, I, I can, I'm help, using a helpful, very, very helpful USB-C charging port, and it's got plenty of space for cup holes, for drinks, and, and you can also use it to have your keys. Now would be a good time for me to show you the key to the BMW X1. It's this, which I find really, really cool. Oh, how cool. Put those things on the side. Do -do 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 but I'm not going to be like one of those people who do the things. Those things. Anyway, but thanks for nothing's going enough to hold your tape for when you for your P plates. Um generally it's very, very spacious in the front. There's plenty of space. In the, there's plenty, plenty of space. There's good couple of side bins, whatever you call them. Wherever you call them, I don't know. Depends where you're from. Um got a good boot latch. Electric electrically change of electrically controlled seats for adjustment while I'm being lightened. So it's just generally a really nice feel to or a nice all around big feel to the car. Now's probably a good time to talk about boot space. Well behind me is all the equipment I brought today or out onto this shoot. And so and so you can just see just how practical it is. Let's start with my camera. Now this is my camera that I just use for my normal everyday photography. My Nikon D90, and it's an excellent camera. I mean, apart from all the other stuff I brought, like lenses and all the stuff that I use just for like storage behind me here, um, it's actually got a really good, decent boot space. So as you can see here, I've got all my cameras, my batteries, and all the other stuff that I brought today onto this shoot to come and film this car, and it has got plenty, plenty, and plenty of space. Good old, it's a good boot size. Um, and I will tell you about all the stuff that I, that I think would be good in a car about this size and some of the stuff that is good, isn't good. So, so what are the things that I really like about the BMW, the 2022 BMW X1? Well, I love the looks. I like 